Simon Philip Cowell is an English television personality, entrepreneur, and record executive. He has judged on the British television talent competition series Pop Idol, The X Factor UK and Britain's Got Talent, and the American television talent competition series American Idol, The X Factor US, and America's Got Talent. Cowell is the founder and sole owner of the British entertainment company Psycho. After some success in the 1980s and 1990s as a record producer, talent scout and consultant in the UK music industry, Cowell came to public prominence in 2001 as a judge on Pop Idol, a show which he and its creator Simon Fuller successfully pitched to ITV controller of entertainment Claudia Rosencrantz. He subsequently created the X Factor and got talent franchises which have been sold around the world. In 2004 and 2010, Time named Cowell one of the 100 most influential people in the world. In 2008, The Daily Telegraph ranked him sixth in their list of the 100 most powerful people in British culture. The same year, he received the Special Recognition Award at the National Television Awards. At the 2010 British Academy Television Awards, Cowell received the BAFTA Special Award for his outstanding contribution to the entertainment industry and for his development of new talent. In 2018, he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in the television category. Cowell often makes blunt and controversial comments as a television music and talent show judge, including insults and wisecracks about contestants and their singing abilities. He combines activities in both the television and music industries. Cowell has produced and promoted successful singles and albums for various recording acts whom he has signed and taken under his wing, including Little Mix, James Arthur, Labyrinth, Leona Lewis, Fifth Harmony, Il Devo, Ollie Murs, Noah Cyrus, Cher Lloyd, Fleur East, and Susan Boyle. He has also signed successful boy bands such as Westlife, One Direction, Pretty Much, CNCO. Early life Simon Philip Cowell was born on 7 October 1959 in Lambeth, London, and raised in Elstree, Hertfordshire. His mother, Julie Brett, was a ballet dancer and socialite, and his father, Eric Selig Philip Cowell, was an estate agent, property developer, and music industry executive. Cowell's father was from a mostly Jewish family, though he did not discuss his ancestry with his children. Cowell's mother was from a Christian background. He has a younger brother, Nicholas Cowell, three half-brothers, John, Tony, and Michael Cowell, and a half-sister, June Cowell. Cowell attended Radlett Preparatory School in the Independent Dover College, as did his brother, but left after taking GCEO levels. He passed English language and literature and then attended Windsor Technical College, where he gained another GCE in sociology. Cowell took a few menial jobs, including, according to his brother Tony, working as a runner on Stanley Kubrick's 1980 horror film The Shining but did not get along well with colleagues and bosses, until his father, who was an executive at Emmy Music Publishing, managed to get him a job in the mailroom. However, after failing to get a promotion, he left to try out other jobs before returning to Emmy. Career Early career in the early 1980s, Cowell left Emmy to form ENS Music with his former boss at Emmy but quit in 1983. He then formed Fanfare Records with Ian Burton, initially selling exercise videos, and music from acts such as the Italian orchestra Rondo Veneziano. He had his first hit song in 1986 with, So Macho, by Sunita. Some of Cowell's early success came through Stock Aitken Waterman, who produced a number of hits in the 1980s. However, in 1989 the company went under and he nearly became bankrupt. He then found a job with BMG as an A&R consultant and set up S Records under BMG. He restarted his career in the music business by creating novelty records with acts such as the puppets Zig and Zag, Power Rangers and World Wrestling Federation. In 1995, through his persistence, he persuaded two actors, Robson Green and Jerome Flynn from the UK television drama series Soldier Soldier, to sign with him and record the song, Unchained Melody, which they had performed on the show. The recording by the duo, now named Robson and Jerome, quickly reached number one in the UK, staying at the top of the chart for seven weeks. It became the best-selling single of 1995, and their self-titled album released later in the year also became the best-selling album of 1995. They released another album and two more singles before disbanding, and sold 7 million albums and 5 million singles in total. According to Cowell, they made him his first million. Later acts he signed included Five, Westlife and Teletubbies. Idol franchise in 2001, Cowell was given the role of judge on the first series of Pop Idol, a show that he and the show creator Simon Fuller successfully pitched to ITV controller of entertainment Claudia Rosencrantz. Maggie Brown in The Guardian states, the show became a seminal reality entertainment format once on air that autumn. Cowell's S record signed the top two finishers of the first season of Pop Idol, Will Young and Gareth Gates, both of whom went on to have number one UK hits, and they were the top two best-selling singles of 2002 and the decade of 2000s. He also became a judge on the first season of American Idol in 2002. With his notoriously critical reputation, Cowell has been likened to TV personalities such as Judge Judy and the weakest link host Ann Robinson. Cowell's prominence grew, fed by his signature phrase, I don't mean to be rude, but...
inevitably followed by an unsparingly blunt appraisal of the contestants' talents, personality, or even physical appearance. A lot of these one-liners were the product of coaching that Cowell received from noted publicist Max Clifford. Cowell also appeared on the one-off World Idol program in 2003, in which it became clear that each country's version of the idol had attempted to come up with its own, Simon Cowell, type personality. Cowell formed a new company, Psycho, in 2005. The company is divided into three units, Psycho Music, Psycho TV and Psycho Film. Cowell returned to music with his latest brainchild signed to Psycho, the internationally successful operatic pop group Il Devo, consisting of three opera singers and one pop singer of four different nationalities. Inspired by the success of Il Devo, Simon created a child version, Angelus, beating competition from similar groups emerging at Christmas 2006. On the 11th of January 2010, Cowell's exit from American Idol was made official. By the time Cowell left American Idol, the show was on its seventh consecutive season in its leadership among all primetime programs in the United States, even lasting up to 2011 in the longest winning streak in the U.S. overall viewership and demographics in the Nielsen ratings. The 2010 season was Cowell's last on the show, and he was replaced by Steven Tyler. It was also announced that Fox had acquired the rights to The X Factor USA, an American version of British show The X Factor that launched in 2011. The X Factor in 2004, with Sharon Osbourne and Lewis Walsh, Cowell was a judge on the first series of the British television music competition The X Factor, which he created using his production company, Psycho TV. The X Factor was an instant success with the viewers and enjoyed its tenth series in 2013. Leona Lewis, the winner of the third series of The X Factor, was signed to Cowell's label Psycho and has had number one singles and album sales around the world. Cowell returned for a fourth series on 18 August 2007 alongside Osborne, Walsh and new judge, Danny Minogue. Walsh had previously been sacked from the judging panel by Cowell for the fourth series, and he was subsequently replaced by Brian Friedman, who was a judge on Grease as the word. Walsh was later brought back by Cowell a week into the auditions when he and Osborne realized that they missed Walsh and that without him, there was no chemistry between the judges. Cowell returned for the fifth series in 2008, with Walsh, Minogue, and new judge Cheryl Cole, as Osborne had decided to quit before the show began. Cowell returned for series 6 and 7 as well, although series 7 was to be his last, as he left in 2011 in order to launch The X Factor in America. After placing third in the seventh series of The X Factor in the UK, Boyband One Direction signed to Cowell's label in 2011, and the group has gone on to top singles and album charts worldwide. Cowell was replaced by Gary Barlow. In 2011, UK Series 8 winners Little Mix signed to Cowell's label. The girl group has sold 50 million records worldwide. Australian The X Factor launched in 2005 on Network 10, and it featured Mark Holden, Kate Siberano and John Reed as the show's judges, but it was cancelled after just one season due to poor ratings. However, the show returned in 2010 and performed strongly on the Seven Network until its eighth season in 2016, when its ratings declined. Subsequently, the show was axed for a second time in January 2017. Cowell also launched American The X Factor in September 2011 on American broadcaster Fox. It was originally announced that he would be a judge both on the UK and US editions of the show, which aired at similar times of the year, but MTV officially reported on 17 April 2011 that this was not true. Cowell was no longer to be a judge on the UK version, but he would remain a major presence backstage. He was joined by Paula Abdul, L. A. Reid, Nicole Scherzinger and formerly Cheryl Cole. Cowell's act Melanie Amaro won the season, making Cowell the winning judge. Cowell and Reid returned for season 2, while Demi Lovato and Britney Spears joined the judging panel as replacements for Abdul and Scherzinger. This season launched another of Cowell's acts into worldwide fame, the group Fifth Harmony. Cowell returned for a third season of The X Factor in September 2013 alongside Demi Lovato, while Britney Spears and L.A. Reid announced they would not be returning and were replaced by Paulina Rubio and Kelly Rowland. Cowell's last act Alex and Sierra won the season, marking Cowell's second season as the winning mentor after he won with Melanie Amaro in 2011. In October 2010, Cowell signed new three-year deals with ITV for both Britain's Got Talent and The X Factor, retaining them until 2013. On 15 November 2013, the three-year deal was extended by another three years, keeping it on air until 2016. In October 2013, it was reported that Cowell might return to the UK version of The X Factor for Series 11 in place of Gary Barlow, and on 7 February 2014, his return was officially confirmed. This resulted in the cancellation of the US version after three seasons by Fox. He joined judges Louis Walsh, Cheryl fernandez Versini, who replaced Sharon Osbourne, and new judge, former Spice Girls member Mel B., who replaced Nicole Scherzinger. For his eighth series, he was given the over-25s category. On 13 December, Ben Haynau and Fleur East reached the final two, which meant that Cowell was the winning mentor for the first time since Series 3 2006, when he had both Leona Lewis and Ray Quinn in the final. Ben Haynau became the 11th winner on 14 December.
In 2015, Cal returned to the X Factor for its 12th series, along with veteran judge Cheryl Fernandez Versini and newcomers Rita Ora and BBC Radio 1 DJ Nick Grimshaw. In December 2020, it was announced that Cal will be a judge on the X Factor Israel in 2021. In late May 2021, Cowell announced he will be cancelling his appearance on the show in context of the Israeli aggression against Gaza. Got talent following the success of the Idol and X Factor franchises, Cowell, his company Psycho, and its business partners developed a talent show format open to performers of any kind, not only singers, but also dancers, instrumentalists, magicians, comedians, novelty acts, and so on. The origins of the Got Talent format can be traced to the British show Opportunity Knox. Cowell is the executive producer of America's Got Talent which debuted in June 2006, along with Fremantle producers of the Idol series. The show was a huge success for NBC, drawing around 12 million viewers a week and beating So You Think You Can Dance on Fox. Britain's Got Talent debuted on ITV in June 2007. Cowell appeared as a judge alongside Amanda Holden and Piers Morgan. The show was a rating success, and second and third seasons followed in 2008 and 2009. The third series featured a publicity coup when Susan Boyle made a global media impact comparable to that of any previous talent show series winner with her regional audition performance. In December 2019, Cowell signed a five-year deal with ITV ensuring Britain's Got Talent will stay on the channel until 2024. In 2014, Got Talent was named the world's most successful reality TV format by Guinness World Records, with spin-offs in over 68 countries. Cowell stated, I am very proud that Got Talent is a homegrown British show. We owe its success to a group of very talented producers all over the world who have made this happen. And of course amazing talent. In 2015, Cow launched La Banda, his first US show since his stint with American The X Factor. The show, designed to find male singers to form the Ultimate Latino Boy Band, launched on Univision in the US on 13 September 2015. The winner of the show, Boy Band CNCO, signed to Cowell's record label Psycho Music. Cowell was announced as the replacement for Howard Stern on America's Got Talent on the 22nd of October 2015. On the 15th of July 2020, it was announced that Cowell had bought out Sony Music from their joint venture, Psycho Entertainment. Other talent shows on the 16th of March 2006, American Inventor debuted on ABC. Cowell co-produced the show with British entrepreneur Peter Jones, who had devised the concept. Fledgling entrepreneurs from across the United States competed to see who could come up with the best new product concept. The 2006 winner, Janusz Liberkowski, received $1 million in the opportunity to develop his idea into a business. The show returned one more time in 2007 for a second season. In 2006, Cowell executive produced Celebrity Duets, which was described as an idol show for Hollywood superstars. The show was hosted by Wayne Brady, and its judges were Marie Osmond, Little Richard, and David Foster. Cowell was also the executive producer of Grease as the word for ITV. This show set out to find performers to play Danny and Sandy in the 2007 West End revival of Greece. It was hosted by Zoe Ball and judged by Britain's David Ian and Sunita and Americans David Jest and Brian Friedman. The musical theatre casting concept had already been introduced by the BBC with the ratings hit How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria? But Cowell's show was not the hope for success. He himself said, it has been slaughtered by the critics, and rightly so. It is far too similar to our other formats. Cowell collaborated with UK production company Shed Media to produce 2008 ITV drama series Rock Rivals, which is based on an X-Factor type show. In 2011, Cowell also created his first game show, titled Red or Black, and hosted by Ant and Deck, for ITV. Series 1 was broadcast from 3 to 10 September. The show was recommissioned by ITV for a second series in 2012, which aired weekly. In 2013, Cowell, in partnership with YouTube, launched a video sharing competition called The U-Generation. In 2013, Simon was executive producer for ITV cookery series Food Glorious Food, which was hosted by Carol Vorderman. He did the same for a game show called Keep It in the Family, presented by Bradley Walsh in 2016. In 2018, it was announced that Cowell created his first show to air on the BBC, titled The Greatest Dancer, which debuted on 5 January 2019. In the show, dancers competed for a £50,000 and a performance on the BBC's Strictly Come Dancing. A second series is scheduled to air in 2020. In April 2020, Cowell judged a spin-off version of the former show Canada's Got Talent called Canadian Families Got Talent, carried out virtually by Canadian broadcaster City TV during the COVID-19 pandemic in Canada. In the media Cowell has been involved in charity work for many years. He is a patron of Together for Short Lives, the leading UK charity for all children with life-threatening and life-limiting conditions. He was patron of Children's Hospices UK between 2009 and 2011 before it merged to become Together for Short Lives. He donated money to Manchester Dogs Home in England after it was hit by a large fire.
In view of his charitable works, particularly the production of the charity single, Everybody Hurts in aid of victims of the 2010 Haiti earthquake, as well as his services to the music industry, there was considerable media speculation as to whether Cowell would receive a knighthood in the Queen's 2010 birthday honours, a proposal allegedly put forward by then Prime Minister Gordon Brown. In November 2003, Cowell appeared on the charity Telethon Children in Need where viewers pledged thousands to see him get sawn in half. In December 2003, Cowell published his autobiography titled I Don't Mean to Be Rude, But. In it, he told the whole story of his childhood, his years working in music and experiences on pop idol, pop star's rivals, and American Idol, and finally, his tips for being successful as a pop star. In 2010, he was added as a new entry to the latest edition of the UK's Who's Who. Cowell has appeared as a guest voice in an episode of The Simpsons, in which he gets beaten up by Homer Simpson. In May 2010, he portrayed himself again in an episode of The Simpsons, Judge Me Tender. His voice was heard on an episode of Family Guy, in which he told Stewie that his singing was so awful that he should be dead. He made an MTV Movie Award-winning cameo appearance as himself in Scary Movie 3, where he sits in judgment during a battle rap. He appears in the DVD version of Shrek 2 as himself in Far Far Away Idol and also provided the voice. Cowell was once the fastest star in a reasonably priced car, on BBC's motoring show Top Gear, driving a Suzuki Liana around the show's test track in a time of 1 minute 47 seconds and 1 millisecond. When Top Gear retired the Liana along with its rankings after the 8th series, Cowell was the 8th fastest overall and the 3rd fastest non-professional driver. On the 11th of November 2007 Cowell yet again appeared on Top Gear, achieving a time of 1 minute 45 seconds and 9 milliseconds thus putting him ahead of chef Gordon Ramsay and back at the top of the table. His time of 1 minute 45 seconds and 9 milliseconds was then tied with English rock singer Brian Johnson of ACDC and Grand Designs host Kevin MacLeod for the second fastest time, just 0.1 seconds behind Jamiroquai singer J.K. In March 2015, Cowell backed Top Gear presenter Jeremy Clarkson after he was suspended by the BBC for punching a colleague, with Cowell stating on Good Morning Britain, he's apologised. But I think what is quite obvious is that the public are behind him, but you know, that's Jeremy. He appeared on an episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? and Saturday Night Live in 2004. Cowell has also guest starred in the popular talk show Live with Regis and Kelly during American Idol's finalist week in early 2006. Cowell introduced entertainer Dick Clark at the 2006 Primetime Emmy Awards. He was seen on the British charity Telethon Comic Relief, appearing on Comic Relief Does the Apprentice where he donated £25,000 for a funfair ticket. Cowell has also appeared on the MTV shows Cribs and Punked. On Punked, Ryan Seacrest and Randy Jackson set him up to believe his $400,000 Rolls Royce was stolen and had caused an accident by using a nearly identical car. Cowell was a partner in the Royal Ascot Racing Club, a thoroughbred horse racing syndicate which owned the 2005 Epsom Derby winner, Motivator. Cowell was chosen as the first subject of the relaunch This Is Your Life, in an episode broadcast on 2 June 2007. He was presented with the Red Book by Sir Trevor MacDonald while presenting American Idol. On 1 July 2007, Cowell appeared as a speaker at the concert for Diana held at Wembley Stadium, London, to celebrate the life of Princess Diana almost ten years after her death. Proceeds from the concert went to Diana's charities as well as to charities of which her sons Princes William and Harry are patrons. At the 2012 Pride of Britain Awards on 30 October, Cowell, along with Michael Caine, Elton John, Richard Branson and Stephen Fry, recited Rudyard Kipling's poem, If, in tribute to the 2012 British Olympic and Paralympics athletes. In October 2013 Cowell took part in a fundraising event in Los Angeles in support of the Israeli Defense Forces. The event raised $20 million and Cowell made a personal donation of $150,000. To raise money for the families of the victims of the Grenfell Tower fire in London in June 2017 and for the London Community Foundation, Cowell arranged the recording and release of a charity single, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Cowell collaborated with a number of vocalists for the single, including Robbie Williams, Dua Lipa, Roger Daltrey and Rita Ora and the song reached number one in the UK singles chart. Recognition in 2004 and 2010, Time magazine named Cowell one of the 100 most influential people in the world. In 2008 he received the Special Recognition Award at the National Television Awards held at the Royal Albert Hall. New Statesman listed Cowell at number 41 in a list of 50 people who matter 2010. TV Guide named him at number 10 in their 2013 list of the 60 nastiest villains of all time. In 2012, Cowell was featured in the BBC Radio 4 series The New Elizabethans to mark the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. A panel of seven academics, journalists and historians named Cowell among the group of people in the UK, whose actions during the reign of Elizabeth II have had a significant impact on lives in these islands and given the age its character. Cowell was announced to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on of August 2018, in the television category. Personal Life Cowell dated English presenter Terry Seymour from 2002 to 2008.
Cowell was engaged to makeup artist Mazan Hosseini from 2010 to 2011. In 2013, Cowell allegedly began dating an American woman named Lauren Silverman. In July 2013, Silverman's husband and Cowell's friend, Andrew Silverman, filed for an at-fault divorce, citing adultery by his wife and naming Cowell as a co-respondent. News of the divorce filing became public two weeks later, when it was widely reported that Silverman and Cowell were expecting a baby together. Cowell said, There are a lot of things I will eventually clear up when the time is right, but I really have to be sensitive because there's a lot of people's feelings involved here. The Silvermans released separate statements expressing concern for the well-being of their son during the divorce process. In August 2013, the Silvermans settled their divorce out of court, enabling Cowell to avoid being called as a witness in the divorce proceedings. He subsequently confirmed that Silverman was pregnant with his child, and she gave birth to their son, Eric, on 14 February 2014. In 2010, Cowell came out in support for then-conservative party leader David Cameron for Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, writing in The Sun, I believe he is the Prime Minister Britain needs at this time. He has substance and the stomach to navigate us through difficult times. In 2013, Cowell contravened his previous statement about David Cameron. According to the interview while he has supported candidates, he has never voted in an election. An opponent of the United Kingdom leaving the European Union, Cowell came out in support of Remain in the 2016 EU referendum. In 2019, Cowell became a vegan after doctors advised him to change his diet for health reasons. He was also named one of the wealthiest people in the UK by the Sunday Times Rich List. Cowell was worth £385 million in 2019. In 2020, Cowell announced he would be writing a seven book series titled Wishfits with his son. The first three volumes are to be released in 2021, with the remaining four the next year. On 8 August 2020, Cowell broke his back after he fell off his new electric motorcycle, which many press sources confused with an electric bike. The incident occurred while he was testing it at his home in Malibu, California. Cowell was taken to the hospital, where he underwent back surgery overnight. After the accident, he began eating animal-based food again in order to rebuild his strength.